it bare. And God's going to show you it for what it really is. And it's going to be condemned without Jesus. Jesus came to save your soul. The Bible says this, it says this, Jesus said, I did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. What, why did Jesus need to come and save people? What was he trying to save you from? What was Jesus trying to save you from that Jesus came into this world, that God would come into this world and die for your sins? What was he really trying to save you from? He's trying to save you from your sinful lifestyle that is leading you to hell. Jesus came to save you from your self-destructive life of sin. Your self-destructive life of drunkenness, revelry, foul language, cussing, using the name of God in vain, dishonesty, lying, cheating, your lifestyle of, of, of not worshiping the, the, the Creator and living in holiness and peace with all men. Oh, I tell you today, there's a way that seems right to man in the end it leads to death. Most of these people yeah. are not feeling like they're sinners. You have to get the people in pain to get to Jesus. The people what? Pain is not God. God is love. God is not pain. If you're in pain today, go to Jesus. Jesus will save you from your pain. A lot of these people, the guy did like that and all to you, they're not feeling it because they, they don't feel like they're sinners because they're productive. They have jobs. They got money. Yeah. They're not the people that you need to reach. You need to reach the people in pain. You have to tell them, Jesus loves you. He's love. He's not pain. If you're in pain what's, today, what's, what do you mean, pain? Pain. The pain. Uh, they feel like they're in bondage. They feel like they're in pain. That Satan's got a grip on them. You have to tell them God is love. Jesus will save you today. You have to reach out for Jesus. He's love. He does love you. Of course. I, I preach it the whole time. What I'm saying is, I know, you're preaching that, but you're preaching to everybody and telling them they're sinners. You're telling people they're sinners. Well, everybody sinners. is. The Bible but says all not, have sinned. Not, what I'm saying is they're not hearing you. you got to reach the people that are in pain today. They're the well, may, may, right may, now. Maybe God's pain. called you to do that, but I'm out here preaching. I'm doing what the Bible says. I'm being faithful to the Bible. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But I, I'm hearing you. I'm sitting here listening to you. Mm -hmm. and, and the people, I, I see the crowd that's here. These are people that work every day. They have good jobs. They have kids. They don't see themselves as sinners. They see themselves as sinners in a way, like church or something like that. But they don't, you're not going to reach them. You need to be Well, well, well that's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here to show them that they are sinners there's and two, that they need to repent. There's two street people out Jesus. there that need you right now. Two people that are living on the street that I talk to today that are right there right now. Well, why don't, why don't you go minister to them if you're Born again what Christian. I'm saying is you got the microphone. What I'm saying is let no. them know the pain that you're in. They don't have no. to live in that pain. Jesus well, will help them. He'll, he'll deliver them from their sin. And then the other people will hear you. Well, I, that's that's good, but but I, I do what the Lord's called me to. If God if God has called you to do that, then then you need to grab hold of that. Can I you need use to. Microphone? You need to what? Can I use the microphone and say that? No, because I don't. I, I mean, you can go talk to whoever you want to. Okay. I mean. Oh, I just I, I I tell you that you know just to open yeah. it up a little bit. You well, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just won't hurt. I mean, it's on God. You know what I'm saying? No, I, under I understand. I, I, you know, people have suggestions. You know, but, 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 you know, if God's calling you to to lay hands on people, if you, if you, if, if you're really saved, are you really saved? Yeah, of course. Of course, I'm saved. Yeah, I'm born again. Born. No, I mean, born so, I talk to yeah. people all the time that, that tell yeah, me they're I'm saved. I'm born again. Yeah. Holy Spirit filled. Yeah. You repented Spirit. of your sins. Yes. Yeah. You're not here like hang out, listen to music, are you? Yes, I am. Really? Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? This is ungodly. It is ungodly. It's it's, all, they it's, say it's, a lot of songs about God too. No, this yeah. is un, no. You're you're ungodly. You're being ungodly. See, so you're listening. You're, you're listening to this music. You're telling me that to go minister to people. Yet you're listening to to Pink Floyd and we don't need no education and 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 money is you know. I'll listen to this. Listen, I, I get this all the time. I get people suggesting things to me. Yet they're they're partaking in the world. They're not living right before God. That's where that's where the scripture where Jesus said, "Take the take the plank out of your own eye, that you can see clearly, and that you can judge righteously." Okay, before you before you try to you know judge me for what I'm doing for preaching, give me suggestions. Take the plank out of your eye. Get right with God yourself. Stop listening to this ungodly music. Stop living for the world, and God God will show you the truth. God will show you His light. The Bible says in Psalm 112, it says, it says, it says, there's a light. It says unto the upright, it says, there, there's light that arises in the darkness. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it says that the, the, the righteous, it says He's gracious, full of compassion, and He lends. A good man deals graciously. He guides his affairs with discretion. Oh, you know, the Bible says this. It says that this is what the righteous do. It says, 
He has dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be exalted with honor. But you know what it says about the wicked? It says the wicked will see it and they'll be grieved. They will gnash their teeth and melt away. It says the desire of the wicked will perish. I don't know about you, but I don't want my desires to be wicked and to perish with my soul in hell. I want to go on with God. I want, I want it to be like the psalm says in Psalm 112. It says that the generation of the upright will be blessed. His righteousness endures forever. You know, you can walk with God and you can live in enduring everlasting righteousness with God. You can, be, you, can, you can have your descendants blessed after you because you followed the truth, because you followed holiness and righteousness. And you didn't partake in the things of this, this world. You didn't, you didn't revel in the things of this world. Your, your heart was steadfast, trusting in the Lord. That's what you, you need to do today. Country, brother? No. What's that, sir? Did you fight for your country? What branch of the military are you in that made you so is, fucking is, great? Is that, is, that, is that... Give me a good one. Is that good? what saves a person? Oh, you no, it won't save... It won't save you. Oh, but you're going to end up in hell. It doesn't matter if you've been in the military. If you don't repent, you will perish. The Bible doesn't say whosoever serves for their country will be saved. Sir, you, 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 your pride is pride become, comes before the fall. Pride comes before the fall. You know, you know the thing is, it's sad we live in a country today. All this pride, all this, all this, all these. I mean, what is that? I have to serve in the military before I can come out here and preach the gospel. I have to be a, a soldier before I can preach the living word to you. No, that's not the standard. See, everybody. Everybody wants to live by their own standards, but there is a standard, and it's, it's God's standard. God's standard is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the plumb line. Jesus said, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Jesus has called you to holiness. He's called you to repent. Jesus said this. He said, whoever will come after me, let him take up his cross and deny himself and follow me. He said, whoever, he said this, whoever, see what happens? People get all worked up and angry, and they start pulling out in front of other people in traffic. You know, that's, that's that, that angry spirit that causes you to hurt other people. We were out here the other day and a guy was so mad he slapped a lady in the face. He was angry and he turned around to point at us and he backhanded a woman right in the face, an old woman. You know, and then he, he, felt, like a, he felt like a fool. His anger got the best of him. The Bible says, be angry and sin not. He can be angry at me because I come out here and preach. But maybe if he talked to me about the Word of God, there'd be an understanding. Maybe if he came and talked to me about the things of God, we would come to an understanding that Jesus is right. Jesus' ways are the truth. Jesus is the only one that can save your soul. Maybe we would, we would see that, but pride, it blinds you. You know, that's why the Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and He will lift you up. Humble yourself. That's where God's grace is. The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble. But he resists the proud. So give your life to Jesus today. He's the only way. He saved my soul. Jesus came into my life when I was in jail. I was in a jail cell. I was in there for violence. I was hooked on drugs. I, I, I didn't know where God was. I didn't, I didn't know how to find God. But God called me out of that darkness. God showed me that I can live righteously. God showed me I didn't have to live for the things of this world. I didn't have to live in sin. God showed me that the things that I was living in, that He could set me free from them. And He can set you free today if you get right with Him, if you humble yourself, surrender to Jesus today and the blood of Jesus Christ, which has all power and authority through His shed blood, can set you free today. No, I'll keep going. Unless I'm, I'm done, man. You done? Yeah. These people about to come flooding out of here. Let okay. Rick preach or something. Rick, you um, I don't really have a word, but I guess I can operate. You're, you're the machine. <laughs> we want to hit. I want to hit these people as they come out of here. I get the feeling. Yeah. I mean, you know, in a loving way. I'm not saying. That. No, I know. I know. <laughs> good preaching, brother. Amen. Woo! Amen. That's good Bible preaching. You guys should listen. Hey, God bless you.